hey guys, you're watching Steve, and uh, apparently, at least, anyway, I don't know what's going on. We're back on another episode of Let's Build Springfield. I think the uh, skin server must be down or something like that, because I'm boring old little old Steve here. Let's go back inside. Today, we're building the Gilded Truffle, a building I forgot about. To be fair, I completely forgot about it, and you guys said, the Gilded Truffle, it's a great looking building. And I was like, oh yeah. It is, and it really is a really nice looking building. So, we're going to start off with a nice little pink uh, carpet that goes in. I think this is like the the celebrity place to eat. Like, this is the best place. If you want to go somewhere to eat in Springfield, you go to the Gilded Truffle. So, I've got this nice normal hardened clay for the majority of the building. And then I've got a slightly darker one. This is called light grey stained clay uh, for a little bit of uh, detail blocks. I think. Oh, yeah, I did cut those down. Um, wait a minute. Do, 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 do. Light grey stained. I can double those up, yeah, for around the windows. Uh, I've got this one. Is it to go down the. No, I think I'm going with the brown. You see this brown down the side of the building? It's a little bit too dark. But it's the it's darker than this, and it's the only clay block that's darker than this, or any building that block that we've got that's darker than this, and looks somewhat like it. So we should we should be okay. Now I'm gonna do two blocks away from the door before the window starts, and this window I'm going to do where we can. No, we don't need to judge it from the windows above. Looking on the picture, we can sort of just. Uh, tap it out and see what size we like because even the windows on the floor above aren't symmetrical. There's quite a bigger gap in the middle. I think that's a little bit too wide and I think it's also one block too short. So I'm also going to raise this up by one like that. I think that's a good size for the window. And then we've got the corner right here which is in the same block. Like that, and then on this side, I'm going to add, we had two blocks there, yeah. So we're going to add another two blocks, or another one block, sorry, on this side of the door. And then we put in the corner again. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be the, the width of the building. Um, I think it needs to be one block longer that way. I, th I think that would be better, and we make that window just one block bigger again. Put that up here. Yeah, I think that's a much healthier shape. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, and now we're just going to put these across here. Not that we're going to be able to see them because we're now going to place over it with this block. It's uh, pretty much the perfect colour according to the picture. I have noticed a visual glitch. Now, I'm not sure how well you're go you guys are going to be able to see it. Because the picture that I'll put up on screen uh, is only in the top left hand corner. It's quite small. Uh, but if you look where the plant pot is here and you've got like a flower bed. There's actually a, um, a colour that goes down here. But here it's actually purple. It's like uh, brown and, and, and this grey colour uh, everywhere else. But just on this part it's purple. It's not meant to be. You can tell it's not meant to be because on this side it's grey. It's just a visual colour glitch that they must have got wrong while filling bits of it in. But it is quite funny when they when they do that. You see it quite a lot in Simpsons episodes um, where they just get some of the colours wrong. It's quite funny, really. All right. Anyway, let's get down the windows on this floor. We always start off with the uh, front of the building first and then we work from there. So I'm putting down where I think at first the windows will be, but they will probably be moved over by one block. Nope, I think that's perfect, because in the middle of the two sets of windows, there's a larger, a blank area there, so that's perfect. And I think I'm gonna leave that block along the top. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually good. I think that's good. So let's, oops. Add the pillar going up here. Now, does this go higher than the rest of the building? No, it doesn't. It goes up to the same height. I don't know how much detail we're going to be able to get. If you look on the picture, there's a load of, like, little tiny uh, loops that go around here. We can do things like this. Like, we probably can... We probably do it, like, here, for example. And then back around there. Oops. Ah, no! 
and there. But we can't get them in as frequently as we might want them to be. But I think we could probably get quite a few down. It'd make it look a lot more interesting than leaving it blank, for sure. I wish I would be able to place things right. Yeah, that could work. That could work. I might change that to the uh, hardened clay colour, though, at a later date. Alright, anyway, let's do this side of the building. Let's work out the width before we go too far ahead. I think it'll be easier to actually start at this window first on this this floor, this story first, and then do the bottom one because the bottom one's just blank anyway. So we can have one window in there. I'm then going to add a second block. And then I'm going to put this window in here. Pretty much so far, you could make this in default Minecraft, in vanilla Minecraft. You just use a different color as the block along there instead of putting a slight lip on it like I'm able to do with the micro blocks. So we're still able to do this on vanilla if you guys wanted to. And we'll come down here. Oops. And then all of this is filled in the same block. Wonderful. Uh, the back, I'm going to do the back with windows along the top. And probably two windows on the back. But then this side is going to be the same as that side. Two windows on the top, but then blank on the bottom. So let me get the rest of the skeleton up here. And then we can start getting into the detail, the fun part. All right, now comes the fun part. I've got all four walls in. The fun part now is doing this detail because it's got a lot of detail on this building. There is so much of it. Let's put down the carpenter's garage door. Let's hit it with the hammer. That's not a hammer. That's a hammer. And uh, let's now color it. I'm going to color it cyan. It's the closest uh, block that we've got. And I think I want... Um... That one? That one looks okay, I suppose. I Yeah, I like that one. I do like that one. Okay, and now we're going to get the pink stained clay. We've got two blocks. Alright, so we're going to have to go along here first. I think four blocks is probably a sensible number. Maybe five, but we'll start with four. And this is as close as we can get to a... Uh, to an arch where we've only got two blocks worth uh, to do it in and then I can get down the Ah, oh, I didn't come down you're joking me <laughs> I can't wait for to see this building finished it's gonna look really really nice I can just I can just see it already so then we put the pillars down there and there color these up and there's the pink bit down. It looks a little bit small, uh, but that's just because of the scale of Minecraft. We can't really do much about that. And then we have a pink part that goes over this window here. I can't wait to get some of this detail down, man. It's going to look so good. All right. Glass obviously goes in there. I'll put the, uh, the greenery down at the end like we always do. There is a bit down here. I don't know if you guys can see. Where did I cut? I did cut one down. Is it this one? Yes, this one. Um, there is like a little bit of a, an overhang that's on this level right here. I've looked really, really hard into the detail on this building because it's got so much opportunity to look really, really nice with the mods that we've got. So we're going to really do our best here uh, to get it as, looking as good as we possibly can. There and there. My hand seems to be a little bit shaky today, so I'm struggling to, uh, to place blocks. I don't know what's going on there. All right. We have brown on this side. Oh, yeah, I also changed out these blocks, look, to um, uh, to the same block as the, uh, or the same color, at least, as the pillar. And I've made them a little bit thicker as well. I like that a lot more. And we could do some stuff at the bottom. There's still uh, a lot to do here. But it's just an idea. And I like that one. I definitely like it better than the previous color that we had. I didn't like that as much. All right, so we have brown there. And we also have brown along the bottom. We can't really get the grates in that are at the bottom of this one, though, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to leave it like so. But what we can do is get this block here. I'm going to make the bottom of these pillars a little bit thicker. Like this. I think I also want to grab these ones to put them in the corner as well. I think that will look better. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And then you can go around with this one. 
Oh yeah, it's adding so much detail. Now I will have to do this on all four of the pillars all the way around, which could be a little bit frustrating, but I'm sure we can make it make it look good. Let's do this around the top as well. Three, four, one, two, and three. Put these ones down there. Ooh, yeah, got it. Nailed it. There and there. And now the, the roof is going to be a, a part that we'll do later on because I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do that yet. But I really like that pillar. If that pillar's the same on all four, that will look really good. Uh, let's do the little plants at the front here while we are here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it slightly different to how we would normally do it. I'm actually going to place down the bushes like this. Something like that. They're not really that tall, are they? So we can do something like... Oops, that, uh, yeah, why not, and this one, and this one, this one, that one, and that one. Okay, that looks good, and then I've got the purple, which is the only purple that we have in Minecraft uh, on this, this texture pack, but this can go around the outside here to look like the little plant pot, or, you know, the, uh, the plantery, whatever you'd want to call it. For the circle one, uh, we could do, we could do that, I suppose. And then have this going around here. There's not really much to it. I suppose if we doubled it up, if we made these twice as thick, or maybe even three times as thick, that could work. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay, actually. I don't mind that at all. All right, I did forget this little lamp. I didn't see this. There's like a little lamp on the wall there. We shall do that momentarily. Okay, uh, glass... I can do the glass off camera, you guys really don't want to see that, but we can, hello phone, we can, um, light grey stained, put these around here, I think I'm going to double these up to make them a little bit thicker, I thought it would be good with the thinnest ones, but I'll use the thinnest ones actually around the glass, uh, where is the glass, oh it's here, one two three, one two three, and then, very simply, like we do with all the windows, I'll go around with all of these. That's an off-camera job, though, when I cut away, which might be momentarily. Um, and how do these windows go? We have them at the bottom, at the top, and down the middle. That's as close as we can get. Should I double these up as well? It looks it looks clean, doesn't it, for sure? Yeah, I think I did it like that. I think I actually want to double these up even bigger. Maybe even bigger than that. Not that big. That's too big. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll look good all the way around. Okay, let me cut away again. I'm going to put this all the way around on all of the different windows. Uh, the one down here, I might do like a uh, um, a little tiny bit. Like, th oops, where is it? Like there. And like there just so you can barely see it but it's not really on show uh, but i do need to do all the other windows and you guys don't want to see that that is dull and boring to watch i shall be right back all right <laughs> we're done i've put all the pillars up as hiccup as well they're all the same, and it's starting to really, really take shape. Now, compared to the picture, if I get it about the right, about the same angle, that is pretty good. Oh, there's a uh, another plant pot on this side I didn't even notice. Uh, 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 and then, whoops, there, 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 and there. Ha 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 ha! Evil laugh. Now, the roof, I reckon we can actually get the roof to look somewhat like it it's got a really interesting shape to it i think if we get i've cut it down we get this little block to go in the corners can you see how it has like a little cornery shape on them i think if we do that and then we get uh well if this one would do that'd be fine in fact that's the, it's basically the right color uh no it's not we need to just half down a brown one uh, uh, wrong side of the block you see which is why that one didn't work there we go, one, and then this can be the roof. I know it's slightly darker than what it should be, but we don't really have too much of a choice. This is the only block that is going to fit in and have the roof with this half lip that we like to have on our buildings. We, Whenever it's a flat roof, I've said this in the past, whenever you do a flat roof on Minecraft, 
always put a nice edge around it. Even the vanilla buildings themselves have it. If you look at uh, the blacksmith, the vanilla blacksmith, no matter if it's in the desert or in the, uh, you know, in the uh, plains, biomes, whatever, uh, there's always those slabs that go around the top. And it always looks good. It's a really, really cool touch that works on any flat building. Even uh, the vanilla small houses, you know, the little small square ones that have a flat roof. They've tried to make it stand out by putting logs around the edge just so it looks a little bit different to the rest of the roof. Really, really important. It really does make a difference. Uh, so with flat roofs, always have a lip. And with peaked roofs, uh, you'll notice I do this a lot with most peaked roofs buildings. I always run a different colored block around the edge of the uh, of the roof. So uh, like on the most recent one that I can think of is on the theme park world, our firehouse. We used cobblestone stairs as the main part of the house, uh, as the main part of the roof. But then I line the edge with quartz and it gives a really, really cool effect. It really, really does. Okay, let's do a little bit of roof detail here. I've got a nice big aircon unit to go down here, like so, and I could even do something if we wanted to go crazy, crazy. We could do, uh, let's get the right one, that one, like so. There we go, that looks really, really cool. And then there's a little tiny pole over this side, about there, I would say. And then it comes up to like that. So there's the uh, the roof done. I really like that as well. We've got the perfect shape with the little nubs that stick out. I'm so impressed with this. I so like it. I really, really do. Uh, what sort of cobbly stuff? Cobblestone isn't really like a, a cobblestone on the picture. Gravel isn't quite like it. Have we got a stone brick? It would match in with the uh, with the path quite well. We could do that. What is stone brick? What ID is that? Uh, oh, that's a monster egg. There we go. Just 98. If I do from... Uh, well, we don't want to go too much wider than the building. I think I'm going to go one, one block wider than the post. From there to there. And set this to 98. Yeah, that blends in with the road quite well, I think. I really do like that. And our la pretty much, I think, it's our last touch is to go around and swap out some of these for carpenter blocks. Now, if you're new to the channel, you might not know what we're doing here. But if you're a, a subscriber that's at least watched uh, an episode or two of this series, uh, then you'll know that we like to do this at the end because it adds the detail of the bricks into the building. We're using exactly the same trick as the Simpsons do. Obviously, this building is being hinted that it's meant to be of a brick, um, uh, of a brick texture because you can see the uh, little parts of bricks in the building itself. Uh, but they obviously don't want to do the whole building with a brick texture because it would take so long to draw every time. So they find it quicker and easier just to sort of do their uh, their own little bits here and there. Now, the advantage with us doing it is that. It creates the same effect. It creates a brick looking building without the overwhelming texture of brick. It is very, very overwhelming. You build a whole house in brick and that's all your eyes can see. You can just pick up this this overpowering texture that is just crazy. Uh, but like this, it gives a really cool effect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the clay and the chisel. And all we do is we color it the same color. And then hit it with the chisel to make it a, uh, a brick format, a brick texture on it. Very, very cool trick. If you're doing this in vanilla, this building is actually pretty close to the brick texture itself. So you could actually, if you wanted to, put in real brick blocks in this area and come out with exactly the same effect. And it would, it would look really, really good. Uh, so uh, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm just using these ones. Just because they are the exact same color as the building itself. Uh, but but normal brooks would definitely work. You know my phone went off a minute ago. Like, or earlier this episode before I cut away. Whenever my phone goes off in an episode I always say hello phone. Because I find it quite embarrassing. Well it's been doing this weird thing lately. Where it makes the tone that I've got a message or a uh, Facebook notification. Oops. 
not Facebook notification, a Twitter notification or Facebook notification, to be honest, uh, you know, or, or whatever, you know, all these sort of notifications that you can get. Uh, but then when I've looked at the phone, it's literally got nothing and it done it again. I keep getting notifications for literally no reason. It's very, very confusing and I don't know why. I love that. I think we've created a successful looking building. I'm looking at the picture now. Oh yeah, that little grey, um, that little uh, gold lamp. Uh, I'm sure we can do something here with it. If I get the crafting table here, I lost it for a minute. Then crafting table, we cut down this glass block into a nook. Is that the right word? Is it a nook? Notch. <laughs> I always get it wrong. We do the same with the glass here, uh, like this. And then we do the glass goes, or the, the gold goes there. We'll have two glass ones and then a gold one underneath. Do I like that? We can't really see what's underneath. I don't think I like that. I think I like, I think that's just better. At least we've got a little bit of the detail in there. I don't like how the black runs out and you can't see the black outline on that side. It would look much better if you could. But at least we've got it in. Uh, garbage can... You could do however you liked. Uh, stone is probably the greatest texture for it because it hasn't got a wool texture look on it. So we could do, I'm going to do it right here, I think, just so it's off the side. You could do it like that. Uh, that little sign, I'm not going to bother to do. I don't know what it says. I don't really want it. Valet parking, I think it says valet parking, $1. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I think we might be a little bit over time. It feels like I've been here for quite a while. But that's a successful replica. I'm very, very pleased. If you guys did... Ooh, no. Wait a minute. If you guys did enjoy it, uh, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Let's put this path down and then we'll call it an episode. We must have deleted it when I done the uh, when I done the floor. What was it? 159.6, if my memory serves me well. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Final touch. See you later, guys. Bye.